Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to change an ordinary bog standard sort of holiday snap looking like this into this twirly effect sort of um, abstract sort of image. Now a friend of mine who's also a YouTuber, Clive uh, Talbot, he suggested that I make a quick video so thanks very much Clive and Anybody that's watching this, if you haven't checked out Clive's channel, please go do so. I will put a link to his channel in the description. So without further ado, let's uh, get on over into Lightroom and Photoshop and uh, crack on. Now just before we go into Photoshop, I'm just going to say that this is a very, very simple edit. Uh, it's really Photoshop for beginners. So let's crack on and get that. So here we are in Photoshop and uh, as you can see this image is nothing special, it's just a basic holiday snap, one or two last year whilst I was uh, touring around Switzerland and Northern Italy on the railway system. So to get us started what we need to do is uh, left click on the background image and convert this into a smart object. Now this isn't essential for you to do this but uh, it will help if you want to go back and make any changes. Uh, to the image later on. So, after I've uh, converted this into a smart object, I'm going to resize this image uh, purely because you know a smaller image size helps your computer run a bit faster. So, if we go to image, image size, and you can see this is 4,900, uh, sorry, 4,592 pixels. That's a bit too big for what we want. So we can just reduce the image size and I'll just reduce it by 50% and click OK. And that will help then with the uh, speed on your computer. So I'm just going to click on this to make the image fit the screen. And now the first part of the process of getting the twirls is to add some filters. So we'll go to filter, go to pixelate choose meso tint and in the meso tint box we have various ways of doing it from fine dots medium dots coarse dots all these sort of things I think that the medium strokes tends to work well with this image and then just click OK so now it's uh, all these like lines across your image and it also brings up some of the colors as well so the next point now is we choose another filter, so we go to filter, go down to blur, and add radial blur. And what we want now in this radial blur dialog box, we want the amount up to 100%. Click on zoom, and then click OK. So that's where we're at with first, and now we need to just repeat that again. And that... By repeating it will smooth out all these lines. So you can do this either two or three times. So because you've used radio blur, it'll be there now the top one in your dialog box. Again, we're at hundred percent on zoom and click OK. So now we've got all nice smooth lines radiating from the middle of the image. It looks like the image is going at two hundred miles an hour. So now to add the swirls, we go to filter distort and then twirl and in the twirl box I like to put this up to about a hundred it doesn't have to be accurate you can choose any amount that you like so we're at minus 100 first click OK then when we've got the twirl added we double click just on the right hand side of that layer which will bring, bring up the blend options and in the blending options I tend to think that lighten looks about the best so we we'll click lighten and then OK so you can see now which way this image is going back to filter back to twirl and now I like to do it about a hundred in the opposite direction 
click OK. Double click on the blend mode. Bring up the blend mode dialog box. And again, I'm going to choose lighten. You can use darken, lighten, difference, all the different blend modes. Just play about with it, see what you like. But I'm going on to lighten because I tend to prefer that look. And now I'm going to add one more swirl to it, uh, twirl, sorry. Back to twirl. But I'm going to go back the other way to about minus 80, something like that. Every time you do one of these images, every time it will turn out that little bit different unless you do exactly the same, alter, enter the exact same numbers every time. And again, we go back to the blend mode. Choose lighten. And then click OK. So now we've got a basic twirl pattern. We can now just start adding a few different layers. So the first layer I'm going to add is, is a curves adjustment layer. I'm just going to bring down the darks a little bit. And raise the lights a bit. Just to about that. The next adjustment layer is I'm going to do a colour balance. So in the colour balance panel here we can, you know, to the red channel, the green channel, the blue, we can make it either bluer or redder. So if we just move that back slightly you'll see which way this is going. So I'm just moving the red channel just towards the cyan. I'm going to move the green channel just down towards the magenta end and the, the yellow channel. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit more into the yellows. So that's in the mid-tones and you can just repeat this in the highlights. You can move the highlights on the red side. You can move that just bringing out little the pink tones within the highlights. I've just moved that one down a bit so you can see where this is going. So I'm quite happy with that now, so what I will do is save this over into Lightroom and just click on save. So now that the image is opened in Lightroom we can do some basic Lightroom edits on it. So what I'm going to do with this now is just going to drag down the highlights just like I would edit in any other normal RAW file. I'm going to bring up the shadows I'm going to set the white point by holding down the ALT key and click on the white slider. Move it across just till we get a few bits coming through. Then just back it off a bit. I'm going to set the black point by doing just the same. Holding down the ALT key, moving the black slider over to the left. Just till we start getting the blacks clipping. I'm now going to add some texture, quite a bit, and clarity to the image and then I'm just going to scroll down here to the post crop vignette I'm just going to have a look see might just add a little bit of a vignette and then I'm going to crop this image just to improve the composition and I'll probably have that somewhere like that up on you know so the center here is just off towards the upper left hand third hit the return and there you have the completed swirly image for so from where we started with the train in a station to this swirl effect I think you'll agree that it, it makes a very nice abstract image uh, something that's easy to do so if you've enjoyed this tutorial please click the subscribe button uh, any questions just put it in the comments below thank you very much and we'll uh, see you in the next one